So in this video, I'm going to do some practice problems for stereochemistry and determining R and S configurations. And so we're just going to do some practice for that. So let's identify R and S configurations of each of these things I draw, of each chiral carbon. So. It's a wedge. And then we'll have a dash there. And obviously there are CH3s apply that are implied at every end point. So like there, for example. And so how many chiral carbons do you guys see here? Um, just take a second to figure that out and you would find that you see one chiral carbon right here and so we would have to assign R or S configuration so remember we have to rank them in order so we have to rank the priorities and let's start with the next atom off of this chiral one. So that would be this one versus this one versus this one versus this one. So I want to draw out the CH3s so it's easier to see. And so you have to compare them. Sorry, that should be an H, just a hydrogen or else that wouldn't be a chiral carbon. So that would be a hydrogen. And remember, we have to have um, the hydrogen pointing away from you, which is a dash wedge, or else you have to inverse the stereochemistry that you got originally. And so we'll start by ranking them. So this carbon up here is binded to three carbons and they have the highest atomic number. So compared to the other two, this one is bonded to two carbons. This one is only bonded to one carbon. And so as a result, this one up here is going to win. So it becomes number one. And then this one is going to become number two and this one finally over here to the bottom left is number three and so disregard everything and just look at the red so you're going clockwise this way and so to determine that configuration that would be an R so it would be an R chiral carbon because you have also the H pointing back and essentially the fourth um, the lowest rank you can just disregard just make sure that it's in pointing away from you though and so this would be an R configuration let's do a couple more So here, I'll just draw this out. Okay, so first identify the chiral carbons, which is there and there. So we'll start off with the top one. Now we have to look at um, the things coming off of that chiral carbon. So compare this with this carbon, with that carbon and then the H is in the back so you don't have to invert the configuration you got so we're gonna rank them begin with down here this carbon right there is bonded to two carbons and a bromine while everything else is bonded to two or less carbons and so the bromine because it has a higher atomic number down here would get priority and so you'd rank this as number one 
because this carbon down here is bonded to two carbons and a bromine this one right here is bonded to two carbons and two hydrogens and this one right here is bonded to one carbon and three hydrogens so the bromine one wins and now you have to compare the last two which one of them is bonded to two carbons which has a higher atomic number than hydrogen so this one over here would win as number two and this one is number three and so going in that direction one two three you find that it's clockwise which designates this as an R configuration now let's start with the other one so this one down here I'm gonna erase all of this red so this carbon down here you have to compare the groups so you have to compare I'll do it in green the bromine that carbon that and the H as well so you're gonna find that comparing bromine to carbons bromine is gonna win so bromine is gonna be number one and then the next one would be the top one which is binded to three carbons and that gets a priority over this one over here which is only bonded to two carbons and so you would rank this up here as number two and finally this one number three and then hydrogen is always last number four so if you do it like this you find out that you go counterclockwise but remember we had to have the lowest rank in um, the back so you could either have a model kit and try to rotate this around in your head or you could just simply switch it from counterclockwise to clockwise so if originally you got um, an S configuration but then the H the lowest priority is not pointing to the back you can inverse it and so as a result this would also be R but it looks like an S based on this drawing if you kinda understand because the hydrogen is still in the front pointed at you and that would be why you have to inverse it so the point is do your ranking the same way rank them one two three and determine whether it's R or S and then finally look at the last substituent so the lowest priority one and make sure that it's going away from you if it's not going away from you you have to switch what you got to the opposite so if you got in this example we originally counted the one two three to be an S configuration but since the H was pointed at you you switch it and it becomes an R and so I hope this video helped in the next video I'm going to do some more because this stereochemistry stuff is just essentially practice and the more you see it the better you will get at it and so I hope this video helped you. If it did, please like it and share it with your friends.